<sighs> all right guys welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> and this is what this whole video is going to be like this <laughs> so <laughs> all right okay i'm done laughing okay everyone who doesn't know who this is this is my baby daddy amy even though my baby's dominican she's african holy <sighs> I'm the only baby daddy. That's right. She's really the only baby daddy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Anyways. And if you have trouble understanding her, it's just, just oh don't my worry god. About it. She makes up words and it's the cutest thing in the world and I love it. You can just translate it. <laughs> I'll translate later. We'll put subtitles at the bottom. Yeah. Like what does Amy, what is Amy actually saying here? Like I know I'm making sense, but I'm not making sense to you. But once you listen and then rewind, maybe it will make sense. Maybe not. I don't know. See what I'm saying? Just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Whatever. I, I don't know. So what, what what are we talking about today? So talking about giving people honest feedback when they don't really want to hear that. And this one over here is, oh man, guys, if I could just tell you the amount of times that this woman has had to be like, listen, I'm sorry. Yes. And I'm just like, it's fine. Like I need you to tell me, I need you to tell me the the tough the tough feedback and I feel like in today's I just I see it a lot in different places I feel like I say I've seen it in the workplace I've seen it in friends even in relationships they give you like advice or feedback and it's just like oh <gasps> it's something that you want to hear but they're not telling you the truth and I don't give a hook about that I'm just telling you how it is I'm sorry no that's why I ask her all the time for feedback on things because She's going to tell me what I need to hear, not what I want to hear. I think it should be like that in every relationship. I don't care if it's, you know, like with your loved ones, your best friend, somebody that you love, somebody that you hate. I don't care who it is. I'm just the I don't care person. I just mm -hmm. tell you exactly how I feel. And that's it. You know, I feel like your delivery is really good, too, though. Oh, sometimes. 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 No, honestly, like <laughs> sometimes yeah no your delivery is good because there is such a it's just it's a word i like to use and it's called tact like there's a tactful way of delivering things like i don't know how you do it it's just like hey like like this i just don't like this because i feel like it look could look better like this or well, i see where you're coming from but you you do it in a very kind way I, but very honest i just I just think about the other person like if i go to you for example about hey okay i'm going through this and that like i want you to just give me uh, yeah like your honest feedback that's why i'm there like i don't go to everybody um you know asking for feedback that's just me and carly knows because i'm i'm super duper private and she has to tell me sometimes just let it go just it's okay just talk about it but if I go to you, that means I trust you. So I'm expecting everything from you. Like I'm expecting honesty. I'm expecting like meanness. I'm expecting <laughs> like whatever you need to tell me, I'm expecting that. And I'm also open to a conversation because I'm not always right or wrong. Well, I'm always right. No, that, that was <laughs> no, but I'm expecting like you to be super honest and super open. And I think that's why this relationship right here is working not only because she's my baby you know mommy but because she's carly no it was because it was hard at first because we had a very tough start we'll, we'll go on that we'll go we'll get into that in another video but it took a lot of honest conversations between me mm -hmm. and her and like we went through this thing when i was pregnant oh my god <laughs> that I had to tell her and it was a very uncomfortable thing to have to tell her because my pr in my mind I knew the this thing happened and I knew the reason I was getting upset over it wasn't because of her it was because I was freaking pregnant and I was hormonal and you know your body and your emotions are just all over the place and yeah. I for the most part didn't have a really I wasn't no. really crazy. Was I, had a, I just had like a few moments where I was like... Uh, to be honest, I would say you had a good pregnancy. It's just once, you know, here and there. I had a couple a of like crazy. just a little crazy. But that's understandable. You had yeah. a human growing inside you. And then she had to say something to me and then I had to be like... We, we got on the phone, I think, the next day when you weren't around everybody. And I wasn't around everyone. And we were like... I was just like, listen, like, I know the reason I'm reacting this way is because I'm pregnant. And I, I, I'm not worried about anything. I'm just, I'm just being crazy and I'm being pregnant. 
Yeah. So I would just. I think you said I was being white. <laughs> I always say that, you know, because, well, I'm not racist. She we have a lot of love for each racist. other. It's, we just like to joke with each other. We're just open about everything. Mm -hmm. We joke about everything. So if for any reason, you know, you just think this is racist or we, like you're listening to this video or you're like you're reading this video She's wrong, <laughs> let me tell you, I am pure black from <laughs> Africa. She's pure white from America. And we joke around. So please yeah. don't take anything serious. This is a disclaimer. That's Discl why it's disclaimer. Disclaimer. <laughs> we'll put the subtitles at the bottom of the video. This is a disclaimer. <laughs> this is not a racist video. But she's white and she's blonde and she has blue eyes. So sometimes she just acts like that. I get a little then, ditzy sometimes. You know, and mm -hmm. sometimes I'm just I'm just being my African self. I just don't listen. I feel like everybody's against me and everybody's talking shit about me, and that's not the case. So it is what it is you know you just have to grow to love the other person the way they are and then you just have to be honest and really really open um about you know conversations and those hard um stuff that are like not yeah. very nice to talk about or very it's uncomfortable unco yeah very uncomfortable to talk about but you just have to like you just have to do it fucking do it well no <laughs> Boop! Boop! <laughs> Did I say? i'm sorry it's all right i don't know if we can probably do you can we bleep that out? I don't know. Do we know how to do that yet? We'll figure it out. I think I can beep it out. I can beep, beep my beep, beep it voice. Or beep, beep it or bleep it? Beep. Beep or bleep? Bleep. Is it beep or bleep? Is it? It's beep. I thought it was bleep out. Are you Does that one know? Is, is it, it bleep or beep? It's do you bleep it out or is it do you beep it out? She's dumb. I'm the smart one. <laughs> I think you beep you beep it out. I thought it was bleep it out. English is hard, guys. Listen. It is my first language, so she's, I have no excuse. She's American and she doesn't even know it. So if I say something wrong, then I just let you do you because I'm not uh, uh, Yeah, I don't know. Well, what do you think about honesty and um honest conversation, a hard conversation in relationship? Oh, this is something I can honestly I struggle with. And she actually knows this. That's why she's putting me on the spot right now. Well, we, gotta talk about it. we gotta talk about it though um oh man dominate hercules fuck you <laughs> There's i no swear to... louise i did not tell she her put me up to that. that she put me up to that no no um we love him we give him a hard time we give that man a hard time but he puts up with us but i i struggle with i think this goes past him I don't know if it's just the way I was brought up, but it was, you know, I think it's something a lot of people know, like, you know, be polite and always be kind to others. And I think there's like a saying, you know, um, I think I was just kind of, almost like I was taught to just, you know, always, I was always keeping the peace. My mom, I think was very much like that. She always just was trying to like keep the peace with people. And I've always been like that. So with, he's a very intense, whoever knows, if you know him. <laughs> You know the Dominican Hercules, you know he is a very intense and very straightforward person. Oh yeah. And he, he has and he has the same face as my child, which is um resting bitch face. You think <laughs> I'm mean? You think she is mean? I am not. She is not. He is meaner in a good way though. But in a good way. He it comes from a good place and it took me a long time to understand that about him that yeah. he gives me constructive criticism because she's very like I said she is a little more kinder when she with her delivery <laughs> and Louise is, like Louise used to give me like feedback or constructive criticism on something and I would just be like <laughs> I cry and then he'd just be like I, I just can't even talk to this woman it's it's <laughs> and I call really her hard. and I'm like I'm so I don't know what am I doing wrong and it took me a while know. to realize that he's just trying to talk to me and I'm just crying all the time. I think you just have to grow, you know, like in every relationship you have to, um, you have to be very open. What about you and you Drew? You have to. You put me on the spot. How about yeah, you and Drew? Yeah, no, that's what I'm talking what about. about you, like, Drew? You, you have to like really be <laughs> open about everything. And, and I think you touch, like you touch upon it, like when you say like, maybe that's how you were raised mm -hmm. or whatever. The way I was raised, like from get go i had to be strong no matter what so yeah. i have a very strong personality like very very yes. strong and some people think i'm being mean <laughs> or i'm being like a bitch or I, I just think i know everything it's not about that i'm very independent and mm -hmm. i'm i i don't know i'm 
I want to say this, but I don't want to say it. I'm just going to say, like, sometimes I just feel like I don't need anybody in my life. I can do everything on my own. I, I, just, I just don't need you. Like, you don't know what, like, what is good or what is bad for me. But I think once, you know, I it's got into... relying on some other, yeah. other people. Because that's been sometimes my struggle. It's like, I feel like I just have to do everything myself. So I even just the similar small communication of just telling somebody hey I need help because I'm just like nope I'll just do it myself yeah yeah but I think with Drew it was I just had to sit down and have it like had a conversation with myself and say listen you have to let it go you have to talk and you're always telling people listen you're not listening Carly why are you crying why are you being a bit <laughs> now Amy you gotta listen to yourself mm -hmm. you know like you're preaching but you have to listen to yourself and I love that man he's annoying we, we do love our men we do we do I, I think in the, in this relationship but... <laughs> I'm just the problem I'm just gonna say it like I think us women too like we get really like yeah we're like no I'm, oh I'm, I'm, I'm the me? snappy one yeah. I I'm sorry. I'll, I I just you see. I just have to let you know. I'm just Happy. I'm I'm just like my baby. Yes. You know. So yes. it it just it just happens. It is what it is. I mean, if you're out there and you're feeling insecure or you feel like sometimes whatever you talk about or whatever you are feeling and you go to somebody else to express your feelings. I think for once, you really have to make sure that person understands you and knows where you're coming from. You cannot be going out there exposing yourself, being naked in front of everybody. Like you, you can't, you can't be doing that. Like no, listen, don't. You gotta grow. No, we're not, we're not doing that. I'm sorry, I had to say that. <laughs> you just have to find that person that you trust first, and then once you find that person, you have to be willing to like listen to people you have to be open you know yes. at first i wasn't listening to carly to be honest and i'm like you know she's just a white girl <laughs> she's just you know my yeah. best friend brother girlfriend like what is she gonna say she's not in my business she's not a wrestler i don't care about what she says she needs to listen to me <laughs> you know and now i'm more like you know what that's not the case like she knows some stuff that i don't know or she can see some stuff that I cannot see. And I know I don't see a lot of stuff because I'm just a mess, you know. But yes. you just have to... I think you. Ha it's all about the trust. I, yeah. It, it goes because from there. For me, it's like, a, it's like a fear of, like, expressing myself. And it's at the end of the day, it's like, what, I, what, do I, what am I afraid of? And it's just, I'm afraid of what if the person doesn't like what I have to say? Well, what if I don't like what they have to say? Well, for me, it's more like... What about if I don't like what they said? Then I'm gonna snap back on them right there, you know, and then I will calm down later. That's just me. But when it comes to other people that actually think that they know everything but they don't know anything, then I have a problem with that too. That's when my sassiness comes like alive. Like, I'm sorry if you're not listening to me, we're not having an honest conversation, you think everything is about you. Well, hey, let me tell you, there's only one queen, okay? That's Queen Aminata. I'm sorry, you're the queen too, but right now I'm listen the mace is the queen like that is oh yeah you're right you're right she, well she's I mean, not she's here. the princess but i mean she rules she there. she's sleeping i wanted she's her to sleeping. be um a part of this i mean a part or part part a part part a yeah. part or part of this video a part of this video a part of this video a part of this video <laughs> Oh. Is it english is not my first language i love it though it's just so adorable but I, i'm asking just, though that's all part. Hey, I've been learning. I know this is not, you don't care about it, but it's been seven years. So I'm proud. I'm just proud. Listen, I've been trying to learn Spanish for two years and I am, I, we're just not going to go there. Blonde, <laughs> blue eyes and dumb. No, that's a joke. Wow, that was hateful. I'm sorry. I, I have my blonde moment. I, I can't even. I'm sorry. I get a little ditzy sometimes. I just can't even, can't even deny it. Don't take anything personal. I'm pretty sure some of you guys have like, Hispanic friends over there, or I don't know, Asian friends, or <laughs> what, what other people? Co Caucasian? Caucasian. Co Caucasian Co friends. Co Caucasian. I'm sorry. I didn't even make fun of you. It was just so cute. <laughs> Caucasian <laughs> friends out there. You guys joke mm -hmm. around, but nobody wants to put it on social media or whatever. But we decided, hey, if we're going to do this, we're just going to be open. Be we're ourselves. going to be like. And be funny. It's going to be a reality TV for two viewers. 
I don't care how many people view this. <laughs> we get one view, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. That would be me. Like I will, like I will look up the video and just like refresh it. Oh, seven views. No. That's from you, Amy. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's all from yeah, me though. I think that's it. I think we've we did everything we wanted. Well, I didn't do everything that I wanted yet. I wanna be a millionaire. That's what I want. Millionaire, the pool, and a chef. I don't want a pool because black people don't know how to swim. <laughs> it's a joke that goes around, but it's true. I don't know how to swim. But you, you can get in like like the kiddie pool. Well, that's you embarrassing. Swim the pool. Listen, I will I will hop in a kiddie pool any day. Like, I don't. I have no shame. Like there's a kiddie pool. I'm getting in. Where's my bikini? I want to work on my tan. I want to cool off. You see, I just I don't drink, so I can't really have a margarita. But like. Just take out the tequila and give me all the fruits and stuff. Yeah, I don't drink, so give just me, give me give the me fruit, fruit juice. <laughs> fruit juice. <laughs> just and bring then, us fruit juice and fruit. <laughs> and I don't tan. Well, I already tan for like how many years? More than seventeen years. Like I'm from Africa. I've been tanning since I was born. So I don't need to. Tan. I do. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm like <laughs> the colors over your carpet, which you guys can't see the carpet, but it's white. Pale. <laughs> it's white. <laughs> like my my palm. Oh no, my palm is. You put on some good color. I would be happy is, with that color, actually. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's <laughs> I'm sorry. That's it. That's it for this video. That's and all, um, let us know if you want us to talk about whatever you guys don't yeah. want to talk about. I'll be more than happy. I want. I want to hear more topics. What do you guys want to hear? Yeah, I I don't care. And if you don't want some stories, yeah. Well, we stories, got stories too. But we got some good stories. <sighs> some of them I don't. I don't think I'm ready oh, to share those stories. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know if they're ready for this. Anyways, before Anyways. you go, you have to make sure you subscribe to her channel and you subscribe her channel. to my channel. That's one. Listen to the queen. And then two, if you don't subscribe now and you wait until we're freaking famous because that's that's the goal. Is going. And then you message me or like, oh my god, like queen, can you send me like some of the free stuff that you get or whatever? Hell no! I ain't sending you shit. Nope. I refuse. But no, make sure you subscribe, make sure you support us, and make sure you just send us your feedback or whatever you we think. We love feedback. Well, I like her feedback, but I'll take yours too. Just saying. Just dealing with white people. Anyways, I'm out. Bye. <laughs>